what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of subnautica so today a bunch of things have been added and they are pretty awesome so uh let's get right to it first thing is we are definitely going to need a scanner so they introduced the like quick slot drag so we can just go down here right here and it is now there so that now works which is pretty awesome um, the infection sequence is now fully implemented into the game. Uh, it was actually implemented yesterday, but there wasn't enough to do a video, unfortunately. Um, another thing that has been added is this terminal with this force field here. Um, so we can go ahead, use our normal purple key, and this should deactivate does not have sound effects yet but it's deactivated so we go to the data terminal alien research data pretty awesome uh, we've read it before uh, there is the iron crystal there like normal still no glass but what's this dun 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 there's stuff that's been added so let's grab our flashlight over here um, there are now bones over here they were creatures that were preserved, but since the glass broke, they are now decomposed. Um, they are on the wall, kind of like a butterfly case. They're pinned to the wall. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about why they are just magically floating. That is why. And then over here, we have these creatures. Now, there's also discussion about this because a thousand years ago, these creatures would not be on the planet. The Karar caused... Uh, massive evolution so these shouldn't be in here um, Corey did say that the ghost ray will be changed so we will see if these guys will be changed as well now uh, this is pretty interesting this currently is the crab squid egg now it will be scannable it currently is not as you can see uh, what is pretty cool though is that this will be the sea dragon egg or they will make a new one and replace it with this currently it is the crab squid egg but they didn't have another egg that like wasn't implemented in the game so they are currently using that so it will either be the sea dragon egg or they are going to make it and replace it so this is the egg that the uh, sea dragon out there was trying to get at and it will be scannable so that's pretty cool also they have added the triggers for the sequence event the first thing you have to do is self scan Performing self -scan. and it says infected Vital now detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria continuing to monitor all right so I believe if we do it again it should say the same thing otherwise it might go to the second stage nope all right it does say the same thing so if we grab this one it will give us the damage report here which we have read before now if we go to these this last data terminal over here and yes there are new warper props we will get to that in a second and we collect this one it then gives you that right there so now if we self scan it says we're infected bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system it is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection and infection reveal so this was added yesterday but like I said I didn't uh, have enough for a video at least I felt for a video so um, it was not in the game during the last two videos and as you can see the warper props have been added there are now the arm here the like interiors all that stuff the intestines and that the purple looks really cool um, and then there is the stuff in here there is one prop they have not used it has like uh, this stuff right here these it doesn't ha they haven't used that um, there is also the warper head here which looks pretty cool and um, that's out of the box they 
have said that there will be parts of like warpers or whatever on the tables as well they just haven't got to it yet i'm also curious can we scan this no that's interesting because it's the same table that's in the lab cache so i wonder why we can't scan that so yeah the warper props have been added it looks pretty awesome if you ask me all right guys so we do have some other things to talk about the first thing um actually isn't in game anymore uh, they must have taken it out for whatever reason, but the rocket base actually had four blueprints in game. Um, I believe it was yesterday or the day before. So I will show a screenshot that I got of those for you guys. It says rocket base stage one, stage two, stage three, and then they changed the name of one, I believe, and it's called rocket base gantry. Um, currently, it's not showing up in game for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure why. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. It it's you know being worked on. It has been worked on for a while. Uh, all the animations and all that stuff. So that's pretty awesome. All right. So the other thing we have to talk about is the Sea Emperor. Uh, a long time ago, the devs have you know confirmed that it's female and then a few months ago supposedly Corey said that it was not a female and I have no proof of either of those I was not around for any of that I was not like in the discord or talking to devs or the wiki keepers or anything like that um, so I cannot hold the testimony there however what I do know is we have the PDA in the lab cache that says that there's one gender on planet 4546B. And then we also have the Sea Emperor databank etchery. So I will show a shot of that right now. And pretty much the most important part is reproduction number two. Since just one adult specimen of this kind has been identified, it may reproduce asexually, but it may equally be the last of its kind. Large ovary-like or organs are carried in the middle section, suggesting that, like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar issues indicates probable infertility. So, it doesn't really give us a clear answer. It says that it could have produced asexually, but, you know, it's the only one they've ever seen. So, unfortunately, it doesn't confirm anything, but it also, it does help us in a little bit figure out what's going on. Now, we have asked the devs, and they haven't given us a clear answer, but seeing as um, Corey has said couple months ago that it is not female I I have to believe that it is not female for the simple fact that you know things in this game have changed so drastically over the last few months and since the game has come out um, originally there was supposed to be a sea dragon in this base now we have data pretty much confirming that it wasn't in this base it attacked at the base for this thing right here um, data and info in this game is changing constantly and with that new PDA that came out saying that there is only one gender you can't really say otherwise that the Emperor is female or not I'm sure I'm gonna get a bunch of hate for it in the comments but it's pretty much fact when you go into a game and you collect a piece of information like this that says right here fauna on the planet evolved with a single gender capable of both egg laying and insemination um, that that pretty much outrules anything a dev says I mean clearly the devs put it into the game saying there's one gender on the planet of all fauna um, I feel like if there was a special exception for the sea emperor they would clearly state, except for the Sea Emperor. Um, just like in 
the PDA where it says that one species has survived the Karar, they state that it's called the Emperor. Um, so pretty much this information right here in game outrules whether Dev has confirmed it or not. Um, it's, it's pretty much as simple as that. Alright guys, there is one more thing we need to talk about and it is a picture on Trello that they added. So I will show it right now on screen and it is a picture of the column in the middle of the antechamber, uh, which is the prison for anybody who doesn't know. Um, so what it exactly does, we have absolutely no idea. From the concept art, it kind of looks like a power um, thing like the gun terminal it kind of looks like that so what it is showing in the picture is that there are the four columns that extend on the top downwards my assumption would be those are lights and then it rotates and the middle also extends uh, and then the bottom part also rotates while the green parts and the middle yellow part extends upward as well. Um, so maybe, maybe like the prison is out of power or something and you go there and you activate it and then that beam and power starts working again. And that's how you power everything up in the prison and then eventually hatch the eggs and all that. It's the only thing I could really think of because it's the reverse of how the gun works and generally most of the precursor stuff works in the same way. Um, so I would assume if you're like turning the power off it would uh, it wouldn't extend it would um, go back in. So I I am nobody really knows what it is at all. Nobody knows what it's exactly for. We only have this picture. There's no information on Trello or anything. That's why we aren't on Trello right now. Um, so not really sure what's all going on with that. All right, guys, like usual, I do forget one thing, and this is the Cyclops. Um, a dev tweeted a image a little while ago about the Cyclops. So here is the image, and as we can see, it says break cockpit window glass, allowing player to enter sub through the opening looks pretty cool how the glass is broke and cracked uh, then it says to the left rear wall of engine room removed and end section of drive shaft broken off uh, then there's lots of holes broken parts and damaged details cut off tail propeller section from about this line which we can see in the picture above that remove one of the bay doors and tail section removed allows for player to enter directly into the exposed engine room now you are probably asking me why why uh, why is this image here right um, well with the upgrades to the Cyclops it will now explode um, it'll go on fire and then after that you have so many seconds it will warn you to get off of the Cyclops and then after that um, it will explode if you are not in it you are safe um, if you are in it it is a instant kill though um, and the cool thing about it is that the remains of your Cyclops will actually stay in the world. And you can go back there and get whatever loot you had off of it. So you don't lose everything that's on it, which I really love because that was my initial fear. Because, you know, like Cyclops is like a second base. If you have all your stuff on there, your um, power cell chargers, all that stuff... You, you lose all that. Now, my assumption is you lose, like, Fabricator and Power Cell Charger and all that. But your actual loot in the Cyclops, you won't lose. Um, so this is what it will look like in-game. And it will, from what I've heard, stay where it blew up. It'll just, like, sink, you know, like the Titanic. Sit there forever and uh, look all cool and stuff. So, uh, from what I've heard, the explosion scene is pretty terrifying and gives a whole new meaning and gives you some new feels so um that is definitely it for the episode guys i do hope you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as always and if you aren't a current subscriber please go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date with all the content and news of subnautica coming out and as always guys thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one 
here it has been taken out for whatever reason I'm not sure um, but then if we head to here we can scan this one and I think once you scan one then they all unlock yeah they all unlock so right here alien bone specimen case 